Hey guys, welcome back to episode number 4 of my career mode with all Portuguese writers. Um, so in this episode, uh, I decided to change a bit what my plan was. I decided to, before this episode, to, to play the, the, um, the two previous objectives that weren't really that uh, important to us. So I decided to play in those and we had a <laughs> we, we hit 50% of those uh, So we were able to get a top 10 with Saavedra here in the flash Ardennes uh, We missed this uh, the second objective that was here on the tour of Fune or The Fien Rund or whatever you say it. We missed out on that objective and uh, Marcel Salvador was the best place guy in there. So uh, in the hilly um, hilly races with good race condition we seem to be able to compete in this one one dot two races uh, so we were able to stay there with the best guys and we were able to get that uh, the top 10 with Saavedra uh, this Tour of Funan is more of a sprinter type race so uh, our best guys have 16 Best guy Saavedra, I think, in sprint, like, and he has like 64 sprints, so it was really hard. Uh, the the end of the race was a bit uh, chaotic because there was a, a 20 guys, 20 guys in the break, and then they were caught just 10 k's to the finish line, and uh, we had a lot of narrow roads. We were blocked everywhere, we were unable to get our sprint train in front, so we did our best, and I think we ended up being, I don't. 6 14 for I don't know 14 I think I was we could try to check here the results but yeah that was it um but yeah we got one one out of two was not bad for those objectives uh the sponsor confidence is still pretty much what it, what it was before uh so we have some work to do um still to Improver is Flash Ardennes, here it is. As you can see, Saavedra was 6th, and uh, Vinicius Rodrigues was also had a great uh, great race day condition, and uh, with that he had like 70-70 on that day, in terms of mountain and hills, so he was able to, to be up there with the best guys. And Tour of Funa, let's see, here it is. Yeah, Salvador 13th, Saavedra 15th, so uh, we missed out on that one, but it's okay. Uh, next objective is this race here in Portugal, uh, the the home race for our team. So we got Grand Prémio, Beiras e Serra da Estrela. So this is a, a race that has three stages. We have two pun punchy stages and one mountain stage so i don't think we have any chance on the mountain stage we just don't have uh, climbers that are good enough to 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 win a stage there that's the objective of our sponsor but on the um, on the punchy stages as we've seen in the volta lentes uh we have a chance if the field isn't too too strong and i don't don't think it's going to be too strong here um We'll have to wait and see. Uh, yeah, it's a punchy stage. Let's see more detail. Yeah, it's basically a typical punchy stage with the punchy ending there. Uh, if we are if we are able to to get a our train there up front, if we have like three four guys still uh, in the front group there, maybe we can win like we did before on the Volta Lentej. The second stage, pretty much the same thing, and here the third stage, <laughs> uh, we are climbing to the to the tour. That's the highest point in uh, Portugal, Portugal's mainland. That is. Uh, so we really don't have climbers to to be up there with the best. I don't think. So if we if we don't succeed in winning the stage, the first two stages, uh, we'll skip this uh, that last. That last stage because I don't think we had much of a chance. So uh, 
I mean, Salvador should have a good race day condition. He has improved. He was a 66-66. is now 67-67. So, he has improved. Uh, and Saavedra doesn't have a fitness peak. This guy has a fitness peak here. Gouveia, but he's not great. So, we'll see how this goes. We'll uh, start the race. And then... Uh, I'll show you the, the relevant bits. So here we go. We are going to protect our best riders. Salvador is a plus 5 today. Uh, so he has really decent stats. Uh, actually there's a bit of cobbles here on this, uh, on this stage. Not a lot. I don't think it's going to be particularly relevant. Uh, Saavedra has a neutral race day condition, so he's not great today, but he is still going to be one of our leaders. And Gouveia, even with this day, is probably going to be a helper. Let him protect Domingos, perhaps, and Peralta is going to protect Salvador. And, Dom and Rodrigues is basically being a free guy for now, until one of those domestics uh, stays behind. So. We'll position these guys, these guys all a bit more in the front, not too much. Uh, we don't want them to be <laughs> uh, exerting any kind of too much energy by staying in the wind, but we want to put them a bit more up there. And uh, yeah, we'll pause again and get back to you when we get probably there at the end of that penultimate climb. And we are 34 k's from the, the end of the stage and we are about to reach that penultimate climb uh, in Guarda and we're going to position our guys a bit more up front. I don't expect much to happen here but I want to be in front there because I really want to accelerate there on the descent if we can and uh, try to reach the front of the group while when we enter that uh, final climb there. It's really important to be up front there. Uh, as you can see Peralta had a minus 4 and he's already been dropped uh, so it's not a great day for him obviously uh, he's but he was just a helper uh, and uh, I think we are going now to just form a train here and try to push on the descent uh, and try to be in front when we reach that final climb even if we don't push, don't push too hard here, we want to be up ahead. Uh, so probably gonna go with Francisco here. Let's just select all these guys. 99, follow, and now let's order this. So Gouveia right behind. Rodrigues behind Gouveia. Then Domingos behind Rodrigues. Then Saavedra, then Salvador. Um, it's kind of close here between these two. I think I'm going to go with Salvador because he has more heals for today. Uh, higher value in heals, but yeah. But Saavedra has more, more uh, sprints and acceleration. But at the same time, he's, he doesn't have a great day in terms of uh, stamina, resistance. So, kind of undecided here. But I'm going to go with Salvador for the... Let's see how steep this is. Doesn't seem too too steep, so maybe I should change it around. I think the acceleration is going to be important there. Um, so I'm going to change this up. We'll see then if if uh, if Saavedra is really down on energy there at the end, we might change this again. But for now, this is what we're going to do. Let's see if Francisco can position our guys ahead. Uh, it's a long long way out. We 20 case to go so we don't want to go too too hard but we want to make it that we stay ahead and enter ahead in that final climb while still descending we still have a small a bit of flat then a small climb and then we'll enter that uh, that final bit there I fetched water what was it 50 something case from the finish line then it seems like the, these guys are ready Firsty again, most of them. Um, well, 
we'll have to manage we'll have to manage without any more water it was a hot day apparently here uh, in uh, close to in the in the in the Serra da Estrela basically that's just what this is where we are so this guy Francisco is done we'll go now with Gouveia and uh, yeah we can go to the back if if you can you probably you probably can't can't go there but maybe stalls a few guys that would be that would be nice so not too hard here we just want to be up ahead when the final climb starts there's an attack here so we're going to push 99 Five i want that guy to go to go anywhere uh Yeah, it doesn't seem to have much of a chance, but whatever. We're just going to push 99 anyway, because we're getting really close to the to the end. We're probably going to gel up these guys here. Um, go away, go behind Saavedra, and we'll wait a bit more until we give the gel to Salvador, but not much more. So. Salvador, now and Saavedra. So, and uh, I think we're gonna go with Rodrigues. There's only two Ks left. Maybe we go with Rodrigues a bit more than change to Domingues. The riders are going through a very tough portion with percentages and of above 10%. 1.7. Maybe now we're going to go with Domingues and change Rodrigues to the back there. See if he doesn't get in the way of our guys and here goes Mingus and it's looking really really good so far I'm probably going to go with uh, Salvador now 1.2 one then probably go with Saavedra if it's what 700 meters to the end maybe and we got a cobble section so We'll maybe wait a bit longer with with Salvador. Uh, I don't think we're gonna win here. I think we went too early. I didn't realize it was a cobble ending. <laughs> so we're not gonna win this stage, I don't think. There's one guy flying out there. It's uh, I don't wanna say Fabio Costa. I'm not sure. We got Restrip, who is a it's a pretty decent puncher, and yeah. Saavedra can't even go and be ahead of those guys. Salvador is going to get third if he can st if he can stay and just ahead of these guys. So yeah, I think we kind of overestimated our uh, our situation here because with the cobble landing, we probably w should have went with the Mings a bit more until like the last case. We sprinted too early, we drained our guys red bar uh, too early and so we were unable to, to win. So we, I think we messed up there. I think we could have won if we went later, as long as these guys didn't, didn't go uh, too early. So yeah, miss out on, that, on this first stage, we'll see how the second stage goes. We're at the start of the second stage of this Grand Prix of Beiras and Serra da Estrela. So we'll try to win the stage. Uh, let's see if we can do better than on the first stage. At least here I don't think there are any cobbles there at the end. There's a few along the way, but not a lot of cobbles sections. So we might do better then. Uh, we've got Saavedra and Salvador with a plus five, especially Salvador. I think we got a chance with him with such a good day here, so we'll uh, we'll protect him and uh, we'll protect we'll protect uh, Salvador and we'll protect Domingos. We'll we'll go with those those three like we did before. Again, Rodrigo is going to be free up there, and we are going to right click position that this these guys more in front and we'll get back to you when we reach the last 20 k's or something like that if nothing relevant happens before
Okay, so we are 9Ks from the end of the race, and um, not much has happened. Uh, I mean, the the peloton has been riding hard, and as you can see, most of our guys <laughs> have not, don't have a lot of energy. So that means we don't have a big train, so we can't do much in terms of forming a train too, too far from the finish line. Um, but yeah, 9Ks out of 10 I'll try to form a train with the guys that we still have. So we got 5 guys on this group. Uh, we'll try not to push too hard with uh, with them just now. We just want to be in a good position when we reach that final climb. So we can then try to, try to accelerate and try to, to be up front. Especially here with the Mings, he's still in pretty good shape right now. And then Salvador and finally Saavedra that has a great day today. I have uh, good expectations for him if we have, if we uh, deliver a good preparation for this, those final kilometers. Maybe, maybe we can get uh, the the stage win that we need to reach our sponsor objective. Uh, Gouveia didn't have much left in the tank. <laughs> he didn't even get us in front there, so. And uh, yeah, Domingos not much better, uh, Rodrigues not much better, so we're gonna have to go here with Domingos. Just a low pace, we don't wanna go too hard just now. We want to Let's see if we can get him in front there. We're going to give him a gel right now, because he's probably going to be in red very close. And now we'll try to accelerate. 99 just a bit to get up front. I don't know what Gavea is doing, still trying to protect these guys. Not worth it, Gavea. Just just rest. Tomorrow's a big day. You got you got to, to climb the the tour tomorrow, so <laughs> you can just have a rest right now. Uh might be too hard right now for the Minx actually. Because it's still a steep climb. We'll gel now for Salvador and for Saavedra as well and we'll have to we are draining a bit our guys but we just want to be there in front in the last few k's let's see just on the yellow bar now we'll go with probably accelerate now with Salvador and we wanna, wouldn't want to launch the sprint too early but we'll have to just wait and see if we can we can look here at the map so it's pretty straight no not not very technical so we don't want to go too early I think and just gonna go with Salvador and they are springing already we gotta we gotta go with this guy here we gotta go with Restrepo he's a punchy guy he's gonna be tough to, to beat now that he went early and Salvador cannot <laughs> he just can't go he doesn't have the acceleration to go and yeah we just didn't have it didn't have enough to beat a guy like this Restrepo is a guy that he's a he's a continental pro level guy so it's hard to beat him we got second and third and fourth so yeah, without that guy we <laughs> would have been able to win, but he is a really strong guy. 72 sprints, 73 accelerations, 72 heals, uh, stamina and resistance also a lot better than the, what our guys have. So, yeah, so we miss out on this objective, um, but yeah, this is, this is PCM, this, this happens, especially when we play in the extreme difficulty this is what's going to happen when your team is a lot worse than your opponents um so yeah well in the gc we can see that uh, salvador is in a good position is in second place uh, however we have to take in consideration that the last stage is a climbing stage, so I don't think he's going to have much of a chance. I'm not even going to, to make that race, uh, because I don't think that we got much of a chance to, to keep that uh, 
I'm not sure we, we can even get a top 10 uh, on the final GC. So I don't think it's worth it. We're just going to focus on, our, on the objectives on this first uh, season. Except, of course, for the national championships, which I think they are really good to for us to get um, to get a, a great result there, and that should increase our um, and confidence quite a lot. So I'm just going to sim this. Let's see if we if we get a good a good score here. <laughs> if we get a good result, uh, would be nice. So I'm just going to put this guy, these two guys as leaders, Saavedra and um and Salvador will quick sim be nice to get a top 10 but well we have to wait and see and Saavedra does get that top 10 so he he'll get he'll finish in the top 10 Salvador loses one minute for this six so it's probably not gonna be in the top 10 but Saavedra gets a fourth place on the overall so that's a pretty good result Ming uh, 16th, Salvador 18th. So I think maybe maybe this can be a good result for our um, for our sponsor. We'll have to wait and see if they think this is a relevant result. This top five for uh, Saavedra. As you can see, uh, we got a one point of importance here with the top five for Saavedra. So not great. Uh, but at least we minimize the, the damage of missing out on this on this objective. And uh, today we on the calendar another objective. So we're going to make this race Paris Trois, and we'll probably close the video with that with this race flat race again. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to do well without uh, good sprinters. But hopefully Saavedra is a really good race the condition and maybe just maybe we can form our train and we can outperform the the ai saveda is not even <laughs> selected to the race well i'm going to change this these two guys are not in great form so we're going to go with Domingues and saveda we're going to have we want to have our best team here we can still select one other guy can be this francisco guy this is just so bad we're gonna go via and we're gonna go with seven riders. Please in the e objectives we'll wanna have all the guys that we can. We can see fitness pick for Saavedra and Domingues. Let's see the teams that are here. Uh yeah. A lot of French teams that have better guys than us. Uh, better guys than than our team has for sure. Like Lawless and oh, we'll see the favorites here. So Valgren, uh, and we got some guys from the Alpacen development team, and like I said, Lawless, and a few, few guys from French teams as well that are really, really good. So it's going to be hard, but we'll do our best. We'll go two leaders, Saavedra and uh, Domingues. They're the ones that are in fitness peak, so we'll try to ride for them. And this, this might be a very uneventful ending for this video. I'm not sure we're gonna... Oh, uh, oh we just... The, the gap dropped immediately. As I said that. It was, <laughs> it was a minute and a half and it's now only 20 seconds. So we might get those those guys there in front. But we don't have much of a train here. We got just four guys in this front group. Um, it's a small group. But... Yeah. We don't have much to. There's not much we can do here. We should be protecting Saavedra a bit more. Are they going to have to wait a bit more to just make this uh, the sprint train? We're around um, six k's to go, maybe. We don't get blocked. That would be nice. This guy doesn't have anything left in the tank, so we're probably going to go Salvador ahead. Rodrigues is done basically, and so we're gonna have to go with these three guys. I am tempted to just follow one of the the favorites here, and just go with that. And I'm not sure that's gonna work. We got a lot of Alpacin 
guys here. Thunderpool, but not Matthew. It's, it's I think, David Thunderpool. Uh, yeah. Got, they got Kjellik and Laurence. But for now, we'll try, we'll try to move ahead here with our three guys. No need to just be in the wind just now, but... Oh, Saavedra is blocked there. Saavedra was blocked, so that was not cool. We'll have to wait and see if he gets back to to his train, and they're attacking. We're we'll gonna give a gel here to Domingos, and we're gonna go with the gel for Saavedra very soon as well. So they try to attack, nothing happened there. Uh, I'm not gonna go 99 here just now because no one's no one's going. We're going. We are going to go a bit slower until somebody tries to pass through us, which seem they are trying to do right now. Maybe we can get a top 10 here. We are looking decent enough for now. Just going to go with uh, a bit of a stalling game with, <laughs> with these guys. And uh, okay, so Minx will try to sprint, and Saavedra will go now as well. But you were a bit late on the gel. Uh, oof, these guys they have a lot of acceleration, but I think Domingos at least is going to get the top 10 here. He's gonna get what, 7th, 8th, 7th, and Saavedra will get 10th as well. So we got this one. Uh, yeah. We just were able to form our train and be up there in front. And yeah, didn't expect to get... I wasn't too optimistic about this one, but we were able to do it and get this objective out of the way. Not a big objective, but uh, everything is, helps. We really want to get that maximum evaluation. And uh, this certainly helps this, uh, this top 10. And uh, our sponsor confidence uh, remains the same, so nothing changed there, but we got another objective out of the way, two stars objective. So this was not nothing, so... And uh, well, how much more objectives do we have before the 31st of July? Uh, well, not... don't have big objectives missing, we really probably need a stage win in the GP Torres Vedras, uh, also known as the Trofeu Joaquim Gostinho, that, that, that the favorite trophy <laughs> of this channel, uh, and uh, yeah, if we can get that objective, I'm pretty sure we're going to get the maximum evaluation. Uh, ideally, we would reach there with the, the maximum sponsor confidence to get it i think we need to get a good result in the portuguese national championships in terms of time trial we don't have much of a chance uh i think we have we don't have any anyone who's reasonable in time trials so <laughs> not sure we can get a top 25 there but given that i i define as an objective for for these guys uh that race uh, for our best guys maybe we can do well and sometimes on the on the national championships we got that bug where we can go in a break and uh, the group just doesn't follow and if that happens it's also going to be a great situation as you can see pretty much I put an objective for everybody uh, to be in those national road championships so that's probably going to be the next video uh, and we're just going to take a qu quick look at the dossiers, see how things are going with the interests of the riders that we picked. Uh, not looking fantastic, I have to say. Um, so, Yuri Leitão has improved 20% in his interest, and uh, ooh, Annie has improved quite a bit as a sprinter. Uh, he has improved, I think it was, what was it, 73, 73, and he's now 75, 76, so that's really good. 
the downside of that is he's probably going to ask us for a lot more money. I would say he's probably going to ask us at the very least with a low level of interest, at least 15k a month to, to sign him. I'm not sure when to do that uh, long term. For a year, I don't mind spending pretty much almost all our budget in a guy like this that allows us to get a lot of objectives out of the way. But yeah. I'm not sure when to sign him for more than one year because we really want to get uh, Morgad, uh, want to get Morgad and Tavares uh, at the end of the next season. So we don't want to be committed to uh, a lot of uh, a lot of money to to our other riders. Um, we want to have as much space to to sign those guys as we can. Uh, so, uh, Tiago Antunes has even evolved less, his interest in our team, and he's not evolved as a, as a rider. Uh, yeah, uh, Joe Batias will probably s be able to sign him. He's got 32 years also, so we'll probably try and sign him just for one year. At best, he does improve our team and sprint a bit, <laughs> which is not hard. He doesn't need to be a great sprinter to do that. And he only got three points remaining. Uh, maybe we can use him in one of these guys uh, I mean we got here Martin Gil he is not a great sprinter but it's still he is he would still be an upgrade to to what we have and he has a lot of potential as a sprinter but at the same time he has 28 years old so I'm not sure how this works I'm not sure he, he will fulfill this potential or not but from what we have available, he is pretty much on the top uh, of the of the guys that we can sign. So we'll probably go with him. You Ugnunj has a bit of potential, they say. So he has potential up here, but down here not much. I mean, a bit of a, a puncher, not a lot. So maybe he is an option as well. He is younger. Uh, I mean, maybe we can go with Ugnunj, just because we'll probably be able to get Matias, so we got a sprinter there, if we cannot get Yuri Leitão, we can get some Matias, and uh, yeah, Ugnunj I think should be a good replacement to Saavedra, if we are unable to, to sign him, uh, so we'll uh, use those three dossier points with him. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. I think the next one will be the national championships. I don't know if we got some objective before. We have, but I'm not going to bother with this small objectives. I don't think they're going to make much of a difference if we achieve them or not. I think the biggest difference is going to be the national championships that will start uh 26th of june so so that's going to be it uh like and sus and subscribe subscribe so <laughs> like and sus and subscribe the video the channel the like the videos subscribe the channel is that it i think it's it so and uh give me feedback leave your comments uh where we can help to to help if you like uh, this career PCM videos do that so we can uh, so the channel can grow and we can reach more people so okay that's it see you soon